Hello everyone. In this video, we will be developing a machine learning model for loan prediction. Our developed model will predict if a person will able to pay the role, uh, will able to pay the loan based on a few parameters. I will be coding in Python. The first algorithm which comes to my mind for binary classification is logistic regression. In this model, we will be using logistic regression algorithm for classification. Now let's start working with our model uh, by importing all the libraries which we are going to use. Um, uh, the NumPy and Pandas libraries is going libraries are going to be useful in data analysis. Uh, the Matplotlib and Seaborn library libraries are there for data visualization and we will be using warnings library for ignoring all the warnings we are getting now we are going to import uh, the data set which is a trained data set using pandas library and going to display the head elements with df.head l let's see this is how our data set looks looks uh, we have many parameters which we will be discussing further uh, in a later part of the video uh, let's see the uh, let's display the info and uh, shape of data set yeah so here uh, the df.info function gives all the information and parameters uh, which are present in our data set and gives all the uh, gives a count of uh, non null objects of that uh, parameter or that column Uh, our data set is now having 614 uh, samples and 13 columns. After uh, importing the data set, we are going to clean our data set because uh, data cleaning is one of the most important tasks in machine learning. Uh, it, give, uh, it gives us a better accuracy and better, uh, re, uh, better uh, results. Uh, uh, first of all, we will check if uh, any of our uh, co columns of our data set is having null values um, by using bf dot in is null dot uh, sum function. Yeah, so uh, you can see that uh, we have got the output. Uh, the first column uh, of our output is uh, all the names of parameters and second column is uh, Total num total count uh, of the null cells of our data null null cells of that column. Ha, yeah. So, uh, now, uh, first of all, we are going to uh, check if there is any uh, null value cell in our data set. Uh, and uh, we can see in output, we can see that there uh, there is a total number of. Uh, empty cells corresponding corresponding to the uh, given uh, column or given parameter uh, now we have to remove all the empty cells or uh, refill the empty cells so we are going to uh, fill the empty cells with uh, mean and median for uh, those two parameters loan amount and credit history uh, now we can we can uh, fill the uh, empty cells or re we can uh, refill the cells using fill an a function of data frame and uh, now we will uh, we will be checking if uh, st still if there uh, if uh, there are any missing values in loan amount and credit history uh, see we can see that uh, loan amount uh, has have zero uh, empty cells and credit history have zero empty cells so we can go further and drop all the uh, all the samples all other samples having uh, null values for other columns so it, it, we can do that using drop na function of data frame now uh, let's che check if uh, there is still any um, empty cell remaining so we can see that there are no empty cells remaining. Uh, so we can go ahead and again uh, check the sh shape of our data set. And it's uh, now five. we have 542 samples. Previously we had 614 samples. So 
we have dropped these many samples in order to clean our data set we are going to do is data analysis uh, after data, data analysis is data visualization we are going to plot the uh, graphs between uh, the parameters uh, graphs between the parameters and the loan status uh, on uh, y x axis we will be having parameter and on y axis we will be having loan status so uh, we can see that there are uh, many graphs which uh, shows us uh, the relation between the uh, parameters and the uh, loan status in our data set uh, we have seen that um, there are many parameters which are uh, in uh, text format like gender married education and uh, yeah property area but i think all of these parameters are categ categorical parameters categorical parameters are those parameters which have which are classified uh, into some categories sub sub categories and do not take any um, other value than those categories so for logistic regression we need uh, need all the parameters in uh, numeric format uh, therefore we need to uh, reframe or uh, reallocate the values for these text uh, text categories uh, to numerical categories and we can do that by using next line of course that we will be doing this uh, for a loan status we will be replacing y for uh, 1 and n uh, with 0 and similar uh, same things will be uh, same things we will be doing for um, other textual parameters let's run these uh, all these lines of codes we are doing it for uh, gender male will be assigned to one and female will be assigned to zero uh, same goes to if married uh, parameter if married yes uh, it will be assigned to one and no it will be assigned to zero Uh, dependents uh, will be uh, we will be assigning dependents to the numerical values uh, that if ze it's zero is uh, we will be assigning zero if, if it's uh, one we will be assigning one if it's two we will be assigning two and if it's it is more than two we will be assigning uh, the value to be uh, to three uh, same goes to uh, other parameters i'll just run these lines of code for you guys yeah uh here we have taken uh, here uh, we have uh, converted all the textual uh, parameters into uh, we have converted all the textual parameters into numeric data and now we we will be revisiting our data set this is how it looks we have replaced gender married dependents education and um, uh, property area uh, parameters with numerical values i have used sql uh, sklearn library for our classification algorithms uh, so i will just import all the um, functions from sql library which i need here will be train test split function logistic regression function yeah i don't need these ones uh, i'll be importing matrix function uh, for checking the accuracy yeah so next thing we have to do is split our data set into test data set and train data set we will be training our model on train data set and uh, testing our model on test data set so first of all i'll assign x and y uh, parameters uh, the x r x x that is uh, training data set or um, independent variable will be uh, x and dependent variable which we will be uh, predicting is y now uh, we will use x and y to 
split a data set into x train y uh, x train y train and x test y test uh, using train test split function of sql library uh, and uh, we are going to uh, allocate the test size uh, here using this parameter that is we have uh, divided our data set into 70 30 70% uh, and 30% that is test size uh, test size is 0.3 and um, yeah let's run this line of code as i mentioned earlier we are going to use logistic regression model uh, logistic regression algorithm for uh, our classification model so let's uh, have a look at what is logistic regression first logistic regression is a supervised learning classification algorithm used to predict the probabilities of target variable mathematically a logistic regression model predicts if uh, y is a probability of if y is equal to 1 as a function of x it is one of the simplest ml algorithms that can be used for various classification problems such as spam detection diabetes uh, prediction cancer detection and even uh, we are uh, going to use it for loan prediction so uh, the class the function we are going the, the activation function we are going to use for the logistic regression or uh, is a sigmoid function many people use sigmoid function for logistic regression um, sigmoid function is uh, uh, it can be defined as 1 upon 1 plus x e power minus uh, t for sigmoid of t so we can see the graph of sigmoid function which is bounded between 0 to 1 and this is why we use the, the sigmoid function for classification so that we will be getting the probability between we will be getting the probability between 0 to 1 so let's create a model uh, using logistic regression function uh, use um, yeah uh, then we will be fitting our model uh, for uh, x train and y train data set which, which we already split earlier and uh, the logistic regression predictions uh, which uh, predictions can be done using model dot predict function on text x test data set so uh, we will be uh, we will be running this cell for uh, uh, data we will be running this cell for uh, fitting our model for logistic regression and the mat matrix dot accuracy score will be giving us the accuracy uh, bit accuracy for predict predicted values and the actual values from data set and let's see the logistic regression accuracy is 78.52 percent that is a quite good value for accuracy we can just check the functions uh, yeah let's display all of it why test it is and why predicted it is you can actually uh, compare those uh, values even uh, manually to see how much how accurate your model is yeah so there is 78 percent accuracy and it's a quite good accurate it's a, a quite good value so i'll be leaving you here this is the end of our discussion on this project we can increase the accuracy further with various means uh, so uh, thank you for watching all the best